Hi there viewers, Tanuki Sue here and welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening. Uh, last time we just got in the rock's feather and obviously as you can see, it gives me the sweet ability to jump. Yeah, so you can definitely take little shortcuts, you can jump on top of Goombas, you can clear gaps, you can do all kinds of nifty stuff. So yeah, we've got that in our arsenal now and we're ready to uh, take on the rest of this dungeon. Now, with this dungeon, it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you don't need to get the map, or really the compass for that matter, even though I did. Um, you can pretty much clear this thing just getting the essentials, like the nightmare key, and the item obviously, and uh, that's what we're going to do, you know, just to, for the sake of saving time. And what's the point of getting that if you already know where to go? Alright, so we head down here, pick out these little bats, and we got another attack. Power upgrade. So we're going to head across here. Now, um, if you go north, there's actually a little puzzle room, but uh, we're going to rush on ahead and put this thing to good use. Haha, <laughs> yes! Man, I am awesome. Okay. So this is a warp point, uh, it takes you back to the beginning, let's check it out. Alright, so uh, that's that, let's head back. Yeah, when you've got one of these, I mean, you might as well just use it up. I mean, look, right there, baby. Alright, let's head down here. Yeah, this is, this is weird, huh? Oh, dead bodies, that's, that's cute. Don't those things right next to Link look like tiles out of Metroid? I seriously think they do. Anyway. Let's head through here. Oh my god! Boss time! That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Boss time! This is gonna be insanely... Oh. Oh, wait. I got him! Great kid! Don't get cocky! Sage advice. Sage advice. Alright. That's the first boss. Can you believe it? And what could this be? It's the full moon cello! Awesome! Let's listen to this little tune. Yay! Yeah, so... A uh, swamp, a path opens. Huh. I think we've had about enough exciting adventuring, so I'm thinking I'm going to slow down the pace here, you know? Um, take it a little bit slower, um, really drag it out, and uh, make this Let's Play a little more painful, uh, just for you viewers out there, so I can milk more videos out of it. Oh, head north to the Capagano Swamp. Alright, so you can... Um, I promise I'll make it more boring, but uh, I am going to take the shortcut if I don't fall to my death again. Yeah, so we're just going to take it nice and slow. This game's pretty slow. Um, so yeah, and uh, holy crap! It's serious, Moblins came to the village? Oh god. Oh, that took forever. Yeah, so Moblins totally stormed the village and kidnapped the uh, Chomp Chain. Let's go talk to Madam Meow Meow here. He was dog-napped. That's horribly cute. Okay. Well, seeing as we need to go north uh, again, let's do that. Taking guys out, heading back here, and uh, see what we can find. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's this way. Yeah, so with the rock's feather, we can do that. And we can continue onward here. Thank you. And I'm sure you remember that heart piece from the last video. Yes! Jump across, and Link is completely smitten. 
he has a new piece of heart, which means we've got one more to go. Let's head to the right. Looks That looks like a swamp if I've ever seen one. And uh, what's in here? Oh no. It's epic showdown time, that's what. Yeah, but we don't need that heart. There's a ton of moblins in here, man. It's a sausage fest, so we're gonna kill these guys off. I bastard. Okay, well, let's grab that heart. It's time to do a mortal combat. You must be an assassin sent by Madame Meow Meow to rescue the mutt. You came here to get me, but and it is I who will get you. That's quite epic. So you can actually jump over his little um, spears he throws at you. Um, yeah, or you could just do this. Yeah, so you basically want to wait until he throws a couple, get to the side, he knocks himself out, and then you attack. And uh, as you can see, when you uh, charge straight into a uh, sword with your head, it uh, doesn't do anything, but a uh, blunt wall definitely does more damage. Of course. And uh, sometimes this guy will not be knocked out when he hits the wall. You gotta be careful for that. Giving it to him good. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. So epic, man. Did you see that? Yeah. Uh, I should probably concentrate on surviving here. Uh, no need. All gone. Fairy, come on. Yes. Alright. Cool. And we get the chomp chain. Awesome. You've saved the Bow Wow. He's a fearsome beast. Yes, he is. So what's awesome about having uh, Bow Wow, or whatever we want to call him, is that uh, he actually eats enemies. He ingests them whole. He doesn't chew. He doesn't think about what he's eating. Uh, he just does. It's it's absolute bedlam. I love it. Um, the only problem is, is he can be a bit lethargic. You never know when he's going to eat. So, oh, there we go. Yeah, so what you want to do is uh, not run into rocks and have to uh, scroll through three pages of text. You want to head left and north and then uh, yeah check out what we got over here hmm. all right who's in here oh it's dracula and a little bird oh no it's mr right the reason i say dracula is because he totally looks like gary oldman from coppola's dracula with that hair uh blah blah yeah no Oh yeah, and uh, if you haven't seen me do this five times already, uh, that was, you know, just so we can, you know, you can check that out again. Alright. Okay, there's a like-like, that thing that looks like a little cake. Um, did he eat my shield? Hold on. No, no, no. Okay, I still got my shield. Um, sometimes uh, those things can steal your shield, and, and that's why they let you buy a shield at um, the shop. But I think that's only if it's equipped. Come on, man. Eat it. Eat it! Oh, you're pissing me off now about... Okay. We're friends again. Alright, that's an awfully... Never mind. That thing was bigger than he is. I... Jeez. Okay, I think we get 50 rupees here. Yeah. Sweet. Head up here. And... Oh, what's... What's this? This this could possibly be, could it? Come on, come on. Yeah. Awesome. Alright. Let's, let's see what we got in here. Nothing there. Alright, let's check this out. Holy crap, it's the Bottle Grotto. We're already at our second dungeon, ladies and gentlemen. So this is Mr. Tanuki Suit reminding you to tune in next time for the continuing saga of Let's Play Link's Awakening. Thanks for watching.